many of you know, um, I'm in my third year serving as Secretary of State. I was elected when the Republicans gained control of the, um, the Constitutional Majority of the Tennessee General Assembly in the 2008 elections. It was elected in January 2009. So there are a couple of things that people recognize very quickly about what the Secretary of State, Secretary of State's office does. Uh, first one people will think about is the Tennessee Blue Book. Has anybody ever seen the Tennessee Blue, Blue Book? You might recognize it as blue. Imagine that. Um, contrary to popular belief, when we gained control of the legislature, we didn't change it to red. It's still a blue book. But um, I do have the responsibility for publishing that. We, we, um, we distribute that through the legislature. We also distribute that to every school in the state, every library in the state. And um, every two years, we publish approximately 54,000 of those. And, um, and you, that sounds like a lot. It's a hot commodity. Um, I think there's a handful of them left somewhere. I think I've got maybe two or three left in the years, but I mean, they disappear pretty quickly. So. That's something our Division of Publications does, but it's not that same Division of Publications. What people may not realize that we do is we publish all the public and private acts of the Tennessee General Assembly. Uh, we also compile the official um, acts of the governor's office. So you know, when he issues writs of election, proclamations, what have you, you know, it's up to us to compile all those executive orders as well. And also, it's my signature that attests that it is, in fact, the governor's signature, signature on those official documents. One of my more interesting moments during my time especially early on and in my time as Secretary of State, was my first full day on the job. I walk in and there's this huge stack of papers on my desk. I said, well, okay, it's time to get to work. And I start reading these, these um, documents. And, and they're about these people who commit these heinous crimes are being extradited into the state or out of the state. <coughs> and, um, and I'm asking somebody, I said, why, why are these on my desk? And, and slowly but surely I begin to realize that um, it's my signature on every extradition paper, but in the governor's signature and test that it's his signature. And, um, and in fact, it's interesting, sometimes I may be out of town and they'll, I'll get a phone call asking when I'm going to be back in town. They've got extradition papers they need to get done in a hurry and they need to get those signed. So uh, that, that publication division also compiles all the rules and regulations of state government, as well as keeps a record of all the open appointments and to the boards and commissions of state government. So the other thing that nobody in this room has any clue that we do is elections. Nobody's aware of that, I'm sure. And, um, and that, that's, that's one of the more high-profile things that we do. Amazingly enough, out of the less than 400 employees we have, only nine of them had elections responsibility. But it's probably the one that we are best known for. Shortly after taking office, I appointed a new coordinator of elections, Mark Goins, his former, former state representative, former state election commission, a commissioner, an attorney from Campbell County. And, um, you know, had, had intense competition for that job, and he, uh, he has done a great job for us. You know, we, we're very fortunate. You know, a lot of people were concerned when we first took office about if we had to appoint a new coordinator of elections. I can tell you, we had five or six very good people who offered themselves that position, and we could have we probably picked anyone that had not gone wrong. But Mark Owen stepped up to the plate, and one of the things we decided, the first thing we had to do is we knew that every election commission in the state, obviously, was going from three Democrats and two Republicans to three Republicans and two Democrats. So we knew we had a lot of new people on election commissions. We also, you know, because of retirements and other things, we knew there's going to be some new election administrators around the state. So we had to do an unprecedented amount of training whenever we considered the new people who were going to be involved in elections. And many of them had been involved in different capacities, but never potentially, quite possibly not in the leadership role that they're now going to be able to be taking. So, we worked on a regional basis. We worked through a virtual training, and we also did statewide training seminars. And I think it's a large result of the intense training that Mark Goins and the bipartisan staff over the division of elections did. That's why I believe we had such controversy-free, smooth elections, if you exclude Putnam County, in, in the 2010 elections.